Morning guys, Yolanda here. I want to show you quickly how to make these little ear protectors. We've had a request from the nurses at the local hospital that they are in need of something to protect their ears. And we found these on Pinterest. They work very easily. So the normal mask just hooks around the little buttons on here and the mask is worn as normal and this goes at the back of your head keeping these elastics away from the back of the ears and that's where it's chafing them at the moment because they have to wear them 24 7. so i'm going to show you quickly how easy it is to make these little things you can use any wool that you've got on hand especially all the little scraps that you never know what to do with and um I'm using this chunky wool because it's quite easy to um, actually see on the video. So you're going to start with a base chain. It doesn't have to be exact. I use about 10 chains with a chunky wool. With a double knit, I use about 15. But generally, I just go by the size of my finger. I just measure it and see, oh, that's enough. And um, then I go for it. Okay, so you're going to make your chain. Then what you're going to do, you're going to start by making a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So that's one, two, three. And you're gonna make one double crochet in there. Now what you've done in essence if you you've got a starting base chain which is now this one and you've got one two double crochets in there. First one being a little bit of a fake one and you're gonna make a third one. So now we've got three. What we do want is we want on either end of your chain you want six and that's gonna make your work turn and it's gonna make this nice turn here. Right so we start with three and we're gonna end with three on this side and this side we're going to work six so first we're going to work all the way down our chain so we are going to work one double crochet into each chain going down so it's and um remember guys it's not just the nurses that needs these um you know the guys in the grocery stores are also working every day you know making it possible for us to go buy food so you can make a whole lot of these and also go drop them off at the grocery stores there's a lot of people that We'll be very thankful for one of these so you're going to work all the way until the second last chain you're going to do a double crochet in each one so now we've reached the second last one and this is what it looks like so far that is our last chain and in this last chain we're going to do six double crochets one all in the same one two three You'll see sometimes what happens is it gets a bit loose here. You can just pull on this to make it tighter again. That was three, so we're gonna do four. I'm gonna do five. And six. And now what you see is we have turned and now we're on the other side of our chain. Very easy. So now we're gonna do the same as what we did that side we are going to work a double crochet all the way down you'll see the wool crisscrosses here i usually work just under that crisscross it naturally makes a hole and that's where i work into and you're going to do your double crochets all the way down under each crisscross until you once again get to the second last one all the way down And then we're going to end off with making our last three double crochets which will equal then six in that last hole so this is our second last one here i'm going to work double crochet and this is our first one so we've got that fake one we got one more here and one more all in that hole see one two three and now we're going to do another three one and two and three and normally you would join your work into the top of the first double which is quite tight usually but we don't we're not going to do another row so we don't really need to join this so you can just join in this very first stitch here that you see the first little v that you see here that's quite clear and you will just turn needle in and pull up your yarn and that's it and then you can cut off your yarn and just pull it through so now what all you need to do now is you need to um, work on two little buttons 
and you can do this with your actual wool especially um the double double networks well because it's so much thinner it goes through the holes quite easily like i did here um otherwise you can just use normal um thread and a needle and then you can just work in your ends if you didn't use your wool and that's it guys very very easy um quick to make you can make loads of these there's loads of people out there that need them and this is maybe your way of doing your bit for um the fight against this virus and these times we are going through thank you very much for watching and happy crocheting